This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 48 of the Orc Gunwagon tutorial. Alright, first uh, select this entire wheel, and we're going to actually scale it down a bit. Just in the Z, Y direction, because I think it's a bit too big. Okay, and then uh, deselect it, just select the wheel, polygon. Select the polygon in the center there. Grow it a few times. Okay, shrink. And then you can just expand that one back out. Okay, because it just looked a bit too big for what I wanted it for. So, um, let's select this. Convert to editable poly edge. Select the edge there. Loop chamfer it. Okay. Select those polygons. Shrink. And then bevel on the local normal. Bevel inward a bit. Okay. This is to break that circle up. Edge loop. Or oops. Ring like those polygons. Um, inset by a polygon. Okay, and extrude on their local normals inward just a bit. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay, I just found a mistake. Alright, create a cylinder right about here. Align it with that. Bring it back out. Uh, give it 40 sides and increase the radius till it encompasses everything. Okay, then drag it out. Convert to editable poly polygon, select that, Oops. select that, ignore back facing, select that, inset it a bit, about 2.43, and bridge, okay, and push it back in, uh, edge, select one ring, polygons, scale, Inward a bit. Yeah. Okay. Um, move it out. And you're gonna have to delete all these rivets in here, which I thought would be so cool, but unfortunately, you're now just a pain. So, delete rivets. Okay, next slide this back in place here, just until it pops out a bit, okay, and then uh, go into the edge mode, select that ring, select those polygons there, and then just bring them straight back. Okay. Edge, select that, loop, and then chamfer. We're going to want to chamfer it about twice. Select that, loop, and chamfer it about the same amount. Okay. Uh, let's make this all black. And then uh, give it that material. Alright. Mine looks a little better, but it can still use work. Um. Right. Let's hide this wheel. So 
So hide selection. Okay, uh, go to the top view and hide all of that stuff except for leave the ball. So uh, hide that. Okay, and then let's work on some suspension or something. So I build a cylinder right here, make it kind of big. Alright, convert to editable poly. Just give it a gray material again. Okay, polygon. Then here, and then use the bevel tool to create something that looks like a piston. Okay. Inside just a bit. Alright, and then let's uh, we'll just stick it right in there. Then grab the edge of the poly, rotate it a bit, bring it left, bring it up, okay, bring it over here, mirror it on the Y. Set in a second. Okay, bring it down a bit, I guess. Mm. Okay, attach those two. Select both the top polygons and then scale on the Z and move slightly down. Okay, and then select these edges, connect, uh, connect them twice, select the polygons, oops, edges, select the polygons, deselect the ones you don't want, and then bevel, local normal, want to bevel outward a bit, okay, and we're going to want to select both these bottom polygons. Okay, select all those, deselect, and just sync them right back in there. That'll give it the illusion of being kind of detailed. Um, Alright. Next, we're going to want to uh, select these vertex, select all of those, and then just bring this up a bit, just so it can go straight through. Alright, um... Let's do some major riveting. Actually, no, not riveting yet. Create a box right about here. Okay. Uh, convert to edit to a poly polygon. Set the edges chamfer. Okay. Polygon inset. Okay, hinge from edge, pick hinge here. Uh, 30 degrees of the one segment looks pretty good. And just get straight in there. Okay, actually, no, that's not good. Uh, edge, select that edge, bring it up. Now, hinge from edge, pick hinge. Okay, extrude. Okay. Uh, Hinge from edge again, pick hinge, right, oops, redo, cancel, hinge from edge, pick hinge, pick that hinge, just kind of get it even, and uh, extrude it right in there, doesn't have to be that much, okay, uh, that'll be it for part 48, I'll see you in part 49.